Welcome back. In the last step in certifying the election of the next president, a joint session of Congress will count the Electoral College votes tomorrow. News Channel 34's Morgan Wright reports on the showdown expected over President-elect Joe Biden's win after a group of Republican lawmakers plan to object to the results. They're not taking this White House. As President Trump promises to keep fighting, there's a showdown expected Wednesday during a joint session of Congress as a group of Republican lawmakers objects to the election results. We're going to fight like hell. This is poisoning the well. Maryland Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen says President Trump's claims are fraudulent and hold no merit. That really he was the one uh, who was elected. Uh, this has been proven untrue. The joint session will certify President-elect Joe Biden's Electoral College victory, but more than 100 House Republicans and 10 Republican senators plan to object to the votes from some key swing states. Van Hollen says the actions of his Republican colleagues are downright shameful and won't change the outcome of the election. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be sworn in on January 20th. I think it's time to move on. New York Republican John Kako says while he's sad to see the president go, his fellow Republicans must accept the results. I think as many as 57 court actions were heard on these various issues and not one of them were ruled in, in favor of the Republicans. Kako urged lawmakers to keep democracy intact. I don't think we should usurp the role of the American people. And as Wednesday's joint session meets for potentially hours of debate, D.C. is also bracing for large protests in favor of President Trump. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.